Hello, ladies, gents, and unbearably slow walking Eggman. Let's jump into Campanella 3. Play, uh, developed in 1989. It's a one player arcade shooter. It's time for Pilot to return to what he does best flying the Campanella through deep space. The final entry in the Campanella series, it features three dimensional scrolling. Wow. If you're not aware of what I'm doing, I am playing the Memento style. First the last one, then the first one, then the second the last one, etc, 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 until we sandwich the very first, I mean the very middle of the time and everything comes clear. The narrative is complete. Let us jump into Campanella 3. I anticipate having a really great time with Campanella 3. I am a big fan. No, it's not like I play it these days uh, much or at all. But, you know, I did grow up with those shmups. This sounds like a shmup. Shoot them up. Okay, we are scrolling 3D space. A shoots. D shoots sideways. All right. But it shoots the opposite direction of what I'm facing. All right. Okay. All right. That's amazing. It is truly an impressive feat of video game development. Certainly. Whoa. Oh, they, they don't shoot or nothing. I keep expecting them when they make the ugly face to come at me and shoot me deep, but they don't. Oh, they are. Wow. <laughs> well done. You idiots, you idiotic, incompetent pilot crash the Campanella. How the hell are you going to get go home now? I'm surprised that these don't really uh, shoot you at all. They just come to the present plane. After this oh, there you go. There's. I was uh, going to say, like, this seems strange to face all these monsters that all they do is fly at you and not shoot you? This me off! <laughs> wave 3, oh, it's, a, it's like a wave kind of thing and I see the progress on the top. Oh, now we are right <laughs> Side scrolling. It's every time, well, I don't know about Barbuta or whatever it was actually called. Every time though, oh, we can also shoot uh, vertically. We only need to hit that opposite direction. Wow! Got a little too close there. Uh, stage A, Poli? Polyanka? Polyanka? Uh, am I... Oh, I just noticed, like, I'm trying to... While I play, I'm looking at the interface at the top. Ow. Trying to see if there's any important details. Ooh. Honestly, this game seems like easy as long as you don't go out of your way to shoot anything. If you just make it a point to dodge... Wait, can I just restart? Yes, <laughs> reset the game. I have now understood it. We can go back in and not be so horrendously incompetent. So looking at the interface up there. Hey, pilot, be careful out there. <laughs> Badger man is always with a smirk and a laugh at your incompetence. We don't trust Badger Man. He cut the rope at the intro. Did you not see? He does actually shoot and uh, I ate it like a buffoon. I wonder if there is a, a, a big importance of actually shooting down things or it just doesn't matter. I don't even see a score anywhere. So I really should just be going on my way to simply avoid all danger and not really worry about anything. You know, about actually shooting anything down. We can just hang out in this corner right here, shoot anything that's coming, and basically ignore everything else. Once again, looking at the interface, at the time, of course, the ones that shoot me, I do need to uh, eradicate them with my incredible power of whoop, laser. I guess bead shooting. Oh, they move! Okay, I did not expect that last part. Um, this power, the incredible power of, of projectile eradication. Like, why does the top right corner exist? Do you see that? Do you see that thing that it shows you the actual grid of the game? Like, is there a point to that? I wonder. I've been keeping kind of trying to keep an eye on it, see if it's worth looking at. You know what I'm saying? But it's mostly just a, a simplification of the gameplay you're seeing on screen. Warp, warp, warp. Does it put you back like at the very beginning? 
because that would be depressing. <laughs> it's terribly depressing. In fact, I think it does. So whenever you get absolutely wrecked with a continue, you probably just need to restart. Oh, oh those old ones. <laughs> They're very intimidating faces. These faces are basically the psychological damage. There is the physical damage on the ship, psychological damage to the pilot himself. Ah! As those faces fly straight into his mug, make him feel extremely incomparable. Oh, oh, oh! Definitely, uh, quite a difficult, quite a difficult video game. It's like Schmuck Plus. Gonna just hang out here. Yeah, yeah. I don't see a score. Did I say that already? I don't see a score anywhere. So it's like nothing's really keeping track of the things that I kill. So it's just a matter of survival. Okay. okay. Just a matter of surviving this nonsense. <laughs> Very straightforward game. I wonder, much like Owl Time Supreme, will it have an extra? Oop, will it have uh, you know an extra wrinkle, an extra layer of nonsense, or it basically just gets more complex? Oh yes, uh, it gets more complex the things that you kill, the monster that you face, but it remains captured in this pseudo 3D plane with cr scroll parallax wow do I get really get back at the start of stage one so clearly you just want to reset if you are unable to reach the boss this is some serious humiliation porn that you may be watching right now uh, I am completely unable to pe get past the very first wave no the first stage uh, and it's just a fixation on killing things. If you simply avoid all dangers, just focus 100% on avoidance, of course you need to kill the things, but not go out of your way to kill the things. Just kill the things that are going to be a problem. There you go, that's good enough. That's good enough, nothing's gonna hurt, hurt me here. And in fact, you know, if you're at the bottom of the screen, you just shoot upwards. I can simply hang out on this corner right here. These guys, all they do is come at you, so we can just hang out over here. I'm being way too active. These are the fellas that you just need to go out of your way to. Other than that, simply get yourself to the corner. There you go. All right, please, Mr. Pilot, stop being an avatar of incompetence. I know that you're really tired of spelunking through the moon. I, this is in the past, right? Uh, you are being uh, overwhelmed with visions of the future. These screaming mouths yell all the terrible tribulations that shall happen in the moon caves. Oh, there's your way until you meet glue. Acha yelling through the intercom. Pilot is extremely confused and strangely aroused. He cannot withstand. Ah! He cannot withstand the taunting of the ugly ass Olmec faces. Bruh, I was almost there. I was almost there. Now I just need to reset the game. <laughs> uh, I mean, this is only a two minute thing. It's the fellows with the bullets. The fellows with the bullets that really get me. It's, uh,. Take it easy, just take it easy. Stop being like a, a giant incompetent buffoon and just hang out right here. Nothing will come to harm me. I simply chill! There you go. Really, really need to just cool it. <laughs> the obsession of killing everything in my in my sight. Because men go to the corner how about this oh well, this is just, just come out so just go to the corner and do absolutely nothing the only time that you need to worry about anything is when the bullet the bullet boys come around 
There you are. Now I have to be active in my aggression. Please die. <laughs> I mean, they, they leave anyway, so you can, in fact, not quite ignore them, but not be nearly so active in trying to avoid damage. We're getting the hang of it, I think. The trick is not to engage with the game so much. <laughs> the trick is to say, hey, uh, use as little gameplay as possible. <laughs> that sounds like a criticism, but really is just an understanding of mechanics. It's not trying to uh, put down the video game. These two quarters so far, they are paying for themselves that we have put into the cabinet. And this is a very much an arcade game. Some others shall be like an RPG adventure and that kind of stuff. This is 100% the arcade experience. You could 100% imagine this kind of game ah, uh, finding in your 1990 local arcade and be like, man, this game feels kind of old, but it, it, it bangs pretty good. I like it. You wouldn't say that. You would say something like, it's rad. You would say something like, oh man, this thing, this video game is tubular. So, do we have to avoid the weird circles? No, they just shoot at you. So, all you need to do is chase the eyeball and avoid the bullets. Oh, baby! Probably the rate of fire of these scum lords is going to increase as we do the blinking damage upon this cosmic horror! It's a brain with an eyeball at the top. Very disturbing. Call me Azaki. We have the new Dark Souls boss. The new Bloodborne 2 encounter is right here. The hunter will board their dull spaceship and will go upon the cosmos to take the fight to the horrors themselves, to where they live. Yeah, Zach, it's a, it's a very bold concept that he's got for Bloodborne 2. It's not going to be like a Souls-like game. It's going to be more like an experience where it's a, a space shmup with very, very dark tones and uh, very long boss runs. In keeping with the things that he likes to do, which is to torture players at every opportunity. What is that? I must have it. Oh, no, I, I can't have it. <laughs> I thought it was maybe a power-up. No, there's no power-ups here. There's nothing but death! Okay, we get the continue right here. It's a rough video game, like, very stingy with the lives and very generous with the difficulty. Something that, you know, very much in the spirit of arcades of the era. So, it's not something that is egregious or anything. It's, you know, not, not uh, something that excites me the prospect of having to figure out a way to finish this video game. wonder how long it goes. Uh, I'm going to assume, I'm going to say it has four bosses. You need to kill four bosses. Oh, you're, are you immortal? Are you a super immortal face? Are you the god from beyond? Oh, baby. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this game is definitely way more complicated. Things are getting uh, a lot harder. It's definitely one of the good ones. Not something I'm going to spend hours playing. This is not, you know, not something I will be excited to sit down and play. But a very, very authentic arcade experience. And uh, high quality just on that front. This is such a... Such a great exponent of the arcade experience that you could easily find. Uh, in the cabinets of the time. Sometimes I need to concentrate on the horrible monstrosities that are coming at me, okay? They are yelling improprieties. They are all full of rage and very upsetting. Oh! Very upsetting messages telling you all about the future stock crash of 2027. Alright, we actually made it to a second boss. Ah, oh, that is one ugly ass 
Robot clown. Ow. This robot clown is very stressful. I hate it. I hate the... I hate the fists. They make me feel... Ah! Very uncomfortable. Do they put... They do put you back at the very start. Wow. <laughs> anyway, I think we understand this video, right? Some games, you don't need to give them a full 30 minutes, a full 20 minutes. It's like... Okay, all right. This is an arcade shooter. An arcade... Sm sh like, I guess, shmup plus. A pseudo 3D shmup. Would that be a... a Fair way to characterize it. Why? 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 <laughs> why would you do that? That was really stupid. Can you? Oh, you can just hold it. I've been just tap 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 it tap it tap it like an absolute idiot. Turns out I can machine gun the crap out of it, more like military rifle style. Shoots three bullets at a time. Looks like. Oh no! Well, this uh, this uh, continue is going to be expended in a very, very short time. Fortunate, but I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I have a very firm grasp of Camp Anella 3. Very easy to show what this game is all about. Some of them will be far more complex. If the if the mat marketing materials are anything to go by, some of these other games are going to be... Ooh, baby. Uh, a long affair. Things that you literally just cannot, cannot play in the span of like three hours, let alone 30 minutes. Or even grasp, you know, but I mean, you can grasp the concept of it if it's any kind of RPG, strategy game, that kind of deal. It's a matter of playing through it, you don't really need to... Oh, finish it to at least see what it's all about. If you to understand whether you enjoy the gameplay or not. I think we're good there. We're there to robot clown. Hey, baby. So, wonder if the grid. What matters is avoiding the freaking fist, and I uh, immediately got punched in the head. Campanella three, everybody. Worth the two quarters, I think. I might go for another two quarters if I were in a cabinet and I will be like, all right, that was a pretty cool game. Never think about it again. Let's move on. Next is going to be, let's go back to the library. Next up, we're going to go for, please, Bug Hunter. Hunt some freaking bugs down in the dirt. <laughs> 